Hello, everybody. You can call me Hutch. Now, I know a lot of you follow me on Twitter and you've been watching my videos. But I just want to say, if you take me seriously on Twitter, there's something wrong with you. I say in every video, memes should not be bought or taken seriously. This is gambling. I outline a theoretical portfolio versus things that I just talk about. I'm pretty sure I am the most clear individual when I talk. Now, I go crazy on Twitter, but crazy about real things, right? Let's recap what I've been uh, very critical of. Merlin Chain, which I said was EVM based. And I said, this is now the direction we want to go. I still feel that way, okay? That's a very normal thought. And I exaggerated on Twitter about it. What about the next thing? Velar, a DeFi protocol that did not release its own token on its own DeFi platform. They did it on a centralized exchange. Okay. The next thing, uh, uh, like, uh, I, don't, I think that was the only two things I went crazy on. Okay. So there is no next thing. Now, even though I've been the most clear about memes, I am going to say this one more time. And I'm going to be even more clear because some of you don't understand how this works. Memes are gambling. They should never be part of a theoretical portfolio or any portfolio. They are highly, or they are, there is a high chance that they are going to zero at any point in time. Not during, not just during bear markets, during bull markets. Okay. If you participate in them, you will get dumped on. Maybe by me, maybe by some other guy, maybe by your own father or mother. It does not matter. Let me say this. The whole point of a meme in crypto is to dump on the next person. If you thought it was for any other reason, maybe you don't have the full capacity of your brain working. This is the ultimate free market. There are no guardrails. There is nothing else to say. You are in control of your own actions. Please be very, very careful. Now, if you're new here, I talk about a theoretical portfolio, mostly Bitcoin DeFi. I've recently added other things. Let's recap. I've talked about stacks, track, ghosty cash, orange, uh, BVM, trio, uh, Valar, uh, Arcadico, Alex, right? I've told you to chill, focus and wait. I still believe in those portfolios, okay? And I've criticized almost all of them, a lot. So, if you watch this video and then you subsequently go and criticize me on Twitter for criticizing, the problem is not me, it is you. Now, that we got that out of the way. Let's talk about what I'm adding to a theoretical portfolio. Remember, this is theoretical. This is a case study. Theoretical has more weight than something like a meme. Okay. I fully admit AI, uh, real world assets could pump. I don't know how to pick them. Go, somebody want, go watch somebody else for that. So I added Trio. Trio is Ordinal's bot. They are in uh, a way to mint ordinals on Bitcoin easily. They're involved in runes. They're involved in other things. I saw a tweet the other day that they could be the graph, right? I don't know if that's true, but apparently they see themselves like that. And the graph is worth $2 billion. This is worth $93 billion. I do think this is worth million, billions of dollars. Just based on, I think it could be a real business. I don't have any assets or liabilities or revenue sheets to back that up. This is all just using my imagination and critical thinking. Okay, now I'm going to add ordinals to a theoretical portfolio because I've been thinking about it. And the more money that crypto uh, makes people, right, the more they're going to spend on luxury digital items. 
I do think that is a truism for the space. CyberKongs was an ETH thing. They just released this Promethean. It actually got airdropped to a lot of communities, Ninja, Pizza Ninjas, others, subsequently uh, RuneStone people, whatever it is, okay? Uh, so I do think this has a chance because it's been pumping, it's been holding strong, 0 0.03. I mean, they airdrop thousands of dollars to people. Now, if you go type in CyberKongs, right? Uh, oh, they're not, it's not on the Bitcoin. So you got to go to Magic Eden, right? You got to go to CyberKongs. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. It's not that. Okay. Those ones look pretty cool. What, are the, what is that? Okay. Uh, ch -ch -ch. And these are worth 12.5 ETH. Okay. So I think this is probably the same collection. Uh, or pe by the same people, not the same collection. So I do think there's a chance that this pumps like crazy. I would not fade this, okay, uh, if you got airdropped it. I'm not saying buy it if you want to participate. I just think this is possible, right, just based on using logic, that this is a well-known <coughs> well team or business or company. And I do think their product on the Bitcoin blockchain could pump extremely well. What I mean, what is this going for? Uh, you know... 30,000, whatever it is. I don't know. Who cares? It's going for a lot. Okay. So pay attention. Pizza Ninjas. I've been talking about this since I called the Pico bottom at 0 0.04. Okay. It went all the way up to 0.19. We're still good. We're consolidating. Absolutely. I think this should be a part of a theoretical portfolio. If you can afford it, obviously. Uh, there's other collections that are less expensive. There's almost none for sale. There's only 1.5. Thousand supply. There, the, the the creator is heavily involved in stacks, in runes, in this. I don't think he's going anywhere, right? So you're betting on a team. Doesn't mean it can't go to zero. I also like Runestone. Okay, we're at a bit of a discount recently. I think there will be a large amount of demand at some point. We've had a nice pullback. Uh, this I think should be part of a theoretical portfolio, just based on observing the market, all the airdrops coming to it. Right, you can instance. It has this instant sell button, so there is a, a, a certain amount of demand. Now, these are some ones that are priced a little lower, but they are involved in the Rune community. Okay, um, I like Rune Whisperers. I think the art is insane. I think at some point these are going to become very popular PFPs. I don't know what's going to happen with them, but I think the for the cost, I think the potential upside is extremely high. Okay, that's just my thought. Now let's talk about runes real quick, okay? I would be paying attention to Zbit. It's had a bit of a pullback. A lot of people are saying that this is the Axie Infinity. Oh, it's back up a lot, up 70% today. That this is the Axie uh, Infinity of Bitcoin. Uh, I think there is a chance of that, right? I mean, the gameplay, if this ever comes up, let's see. Oh, okay. So uh, they do have a game, right? I mean, they have a working product. Uh, I don't know how the token is involved, if it's in-game currency to buy items, so on and so forth. So I think this is definitely part of a rune portfolio and an ordinal portfolio, right? Uh, similar Along similar lines, gaming, ordinals, so on and so forth. What did I have here? Uh, is this anything? No, this is just my Twitter portfolio. Oh, I also wanted to bring up things that are part of a theoretical portfolio that do have a large amount of risk okay uh, a lot of people from stacks uh say bvm is you know a scam there's something about trustless computer they're not being documents on the github i fully acknowledge that i'm not convinced that it is a scam uh i do think there's some merit to it there is two camps but there obviously if there's not consensus that is a red flag there is more risk associated with this. But the more risk, the more reward, obviously. So you have to pay attention to that, right? Um, and then the other one that I also really like that I talked about since 10 cents or six cents or whatever is orange. Same type of concept. Uh, they didn't release their, they still haven't released the product yet. I mean, they're getting tested or whatever. All these different things that uh, are red flags, right? Still part of a theoretical portfolio, I feel, because uh, I do think they're going to pump again, right? Uh, a lot of these have red flags and, and risk factors, right? Track hasn't released a tap network yet. Ghosty Cash has a privacy concern. That is where the reward comes from in a theoretical portfolio, right? There are safer components to that. Stacks, right? Bitcoin is part of a theoretical portfolio, right? 
uh, Arcadico and Alex. Alex is getting huge infusions from venture capital, uh, huge infusions of cash, right? Valar, huge infusion, infusions of cash, right? Even though I don't like what they did. So uh, there are less risky components, right? I'm not going to talk about memes because I do truly feel like there's something deeply wrong with the meme community on Stacks. And that's where I like the memes. Uh, I think the Stacks meme community needs to grow more, uh, right? But again, a meme is a meme. Like, there's no other way to say it. You people are way too overexposed. That's just my opinion. Uh, you can take it or you can not take it, uh, uh, literally. So anyway, you could call me Hunch. Ordinals should be a part of a theoretical portfolio at some point. The prices are so low compared to what ETH NFTs did in the last bull run. I think it's important to pay attention. It doesn't mean you have to own all of them. It means you can maybe just own Trio or one of them or whatever. And it may not work out, right? High risk, high reward, not financial advice. These are not things you should be doing if you have other uh, things to pay. This is, this is obviously more like Vegas. Uh, so please be very careful, not financial advice. Uh, anyway, you can call me Hunch.